Brandy here and who are Zach. You? Zach, hey, we're <laughs> raise him up, Homestead. So Zach has been busting his butt on the inside of our house because this Saturday we're having a work party to try and raise our foundation. <laughs> so let me just uh, show you what he's been up to. If you've been following our journey, you know we bought a home sight unseen here in Kentucky. We did pay for an inspection, but it was unable to show us what the crawl space looked like. When we arrived, we realized that the entire structural foundation of the house was dry rotted. So now we are tearing the house down to the studs so that we can lift it up because half the house is sinking about four inches due to uh, water runoff. All right, so we are getting ready to take out the floor in the dining room. We didn't get a chance to show you guys in detail how bad the floors in the kitchen were. So we wanted to take the chance to show you now how rotten this wood really is. And I'll say before I start, this is not as bad as the kitchen. But I, pull, I can pull up the hardwood floor with my hands and crumble it. It is just, it feels, it's softer than balsa wood. There's just nothing to it. This beam, as you can see, isn't any different. The entire floor beam is just dry rotting. Luckily though, it's not bugs. It is rot. So. Is it sitting right on the ground? Yes. The dirt is all the way up and touching the beam. So I'm going to have to dig out some of this dirt once I get the floor out of here. But yeah, the whole floor is just shot. Okay, so here are our front two rooms down to studs, but we have a mystery. Maybe you can help us. Behind, in this area was a closet. So we found this spot that had been built out. And it's insulated like the rest of the exterior walls. It has old wallpaper on top of cardboard i'm curious to see if there's anything on these cardboard but this is where we're finding old newspaper and we didn't find old newspaper on any other part of the house so why is this spot been built out and, and why it, was it not removed? it wasn't cut out it was built this way yeah so interesting. And they put the boards, whatever was here, they had wallpaper over those studs. But in our house in Oregon, they just wallpapered over the shiplap. So, but this is interesting that there's cardboard here. And this whole wall is cardboarded. There's cardboard behind the yeah. first layer of sheetrock? Uh, wallpaper. 
we're trying to figure out the house and why why it's built when it's built we did just notice this though like this board here uh -huh. is sticking up yep. like that was falling down there's not yeah, enough support yeah even this one too you take them and i mean if you take a house with joints mm -hmm. and you flex them that's what's gonna happen that's yep exactly what happened right here because that main beam isn't even on anything yeah it's definitely not well this one's not supporting anything other than the floor to either the main beams don't go to the exterior of the house which is bizarre to me. if we had a metal detector i'd be interested in metal detecting under here to see what we could find but i'm sure there'd be a lot of nails but be interesting to see if we found anything super cool thing for the bathroom. The comics. Nice. So we found this cool paper shoved in our wall. Still trying to find a date, but pretty sure it's from World War II. from the old Lexington leader trying to gently tear it apart tear this old wallpaper off Here's a funny um, comic. The quote says, Bah! This pampered new generation. watching our videos we have been working hard getting the house ready to be lifted you saw us demo everything we're working on the trench to keep the water from coming underneath and we're getting ready for lifting the house which will be in the next video um, we're about at the point where I don't know if you can see down here this beam is going to be going underneath the green exterior wall there to replace the beams that are completely rotten, uh, giving that some support, and then we'll be able to lift the house. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell to, so that you're notified when our next videos come out. And thank you all for your support. <laughs>